Welcome to Elections 101 in 5, the show that walks you through all the complex aspects of Nigeria's electoral process. It's brought to you by Yaga Africa and supported by the UNDP. My name is Samson Itodo and let's get started with the focus of today's episode of the show. What are the rights of party agents? It's our topic of the day. Some Nigerians were asked this question. Take a listen. To know that, to make sure that the election goes normal, that there will be no uh, rigging or no vote buying and every other thing. It's for them to do the right thing. They know what they are supposed to do as the agents. So the more they know their rights, the more the general public know their rights, the better for our electoral system, the better for the future of Nigeria. Uh, before they take them as an agent, already they have, they have train them and tell them what to do during the election. I'm not the one now to tell you. They know what they're supposed to, to do. Well, thank you for those answers. In the previous episode, we considered the role of party agents in an election. Today, we're looking at the rights of party agents. Because party agents are expected to protect the interests of their candidates and parties during election. But these must be done within certain limits and bounds. And that's what the law says. Here are the rights of party agents as provided in the 2022 Electoral Act and INEX guidelines. First, party agents shall be entitled to be present at the distribution of election materials, be them sensitive or non-sensitive materials. So it's a right for party agents to be present at the distribution of um, election materials like ballot papers and resolve sheets. Secondly, it's a right for party agents to be in attendance in a polling unit before the commencement of elections and to inspect the originals of election materials such as ballot papers, the beavers and the resolve sheets. It is a right for party agents to inspect those materials but not just inspect the materials but also record um, those materials as evidence, either using their phones, their video, or any other means. Thirdly, it is the right of the party agent to receive a duplicate copy of result sheets from the presiding officer or returning officer, depending on the level of collation. So party agents have a right to receive copies of the result sheets. It's a right enshrined and included in our law. The fourth, party agents have a right to call the attention of a presiding officer and a returning officer to any irregularity, such as underage voting, impersonation, or where there is some computational inaccuracy in the course of the coalition exercise. So party agents have a right to call the attention of the INEC official, but they must do so with respect, with decorum, and in an orderly manner. Now, the next right that party agents have is that party agents have a right to sign the result sheets at the polling units and at the collation center. But here is the interesting part, that if the party agents refuses to be present or refuses to sign the result sheets in any polling unit or at any collation center. The law and the guidelines say that that refusal will not in any way invalidate the result for that polling unit or that entire election. And that's Elections 101 in 5. If you have any questions or any comments, that you want us to treat or you have any concerns you want us to address, please use the handles and the addresses displayed on your screen. You can also watch previous episodes on, of this show on our YouTube channel, Yaga Africa TV. As always, collection of PVC is going on nationwide, so do not miss this opportunity to collect your PVCs. And PVC collection is at the INEC local government offices and it will end on January 22nd, 2023. Please do not wait until the last minute. Thank you for watching. My name is Samson Itodo. Remember, your vote can make a significant difference.
please vote wisely. Bye for now.